Sup, 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 guys. Yo, Fruit Punch Saber here. And I'm here to answer the deep question that a lot of Tight Moon fans have because for some reason, they don't want to read the OG visual novel for Tsukihime or the remake visual novel for Tsukihime. They only want to read one, not the other, right? Even though the OG Tsukihime visual novel is short, I mean, they just they just want to know what's the difference, right? What they're missing out if they just go straight to the remake. And I'm making this video here today to answer what is the difference between the OG Tsukihime versus the remake Tsukihime. In particular, I'm only going to be doing Arc Route for this video because Arc Route is the only one that has been released for the English translation. So let's all get right, to all it. Alright guys, let's go ahead and get into Chapter 0, Prologue Glass Moon. Actually, before we get too deep into it, let's talk about the settings. So there's a couple of different settings that Tsukihime Remake has compared to the original. Let's get that out the way. So obviously, we're going to go over the pretty obvious one. New voice actors. Um, the 27 Dead Apostles got updated. More original characters, more side characters. The Bureau Agency got updated, obviously, because of the more original characters like Noel and Mario. I can't remember the other guy's name. They're not that... Um, they barely talked in the visual novel, <laughs> but uh, let's not get into that. And the series take place in Soya rather than Misaki Town. Remember that, that's key. And the setting also take place in 2014 rather than 1999. Okay, so why I want you to remember why Soya, why Tsukihime taking place in Soya is more, is pretty impactful that it's not taken in um, Misaki Town. In the original Tsukihime, it was taking place in Misaki Town. Now, the Tono Mansion has been moved to Soya. So, who's occupying the original mansion in Misaki Town? Bam! Right here. Moho Tsukai no Yoru, aka the original, aka Best Girl, Aoko Visual Novel. So, in Aoko Visual Novel, there's a character, I, I, I'm gonna butcher their name, sorry about this, but the Kunoji residence, right? The Kunoji clan, the Kwanji, whatever, right? Kwanji clan, Alice, all right? Alice family took over basically the Tono Mansion. As you can read here in the Mohosukai no Yoru world, the Kwanji Mansion shares the same location as the Tono Mansion. So what was once the Tono Mansion now became the Kwanji Mansion or the Kunoji residence. And we'll probably know more about that. Well, I will when I start reading this. Hopefully soon. But that's why I think this information is key. That the settings are very different. Or the location is very different. Because if Nasu moved the Tono residence to Soya. That means they kind of interact with each other, right? Moho, They call it Mohoyo, right? Mohoyo interact with Tsukihime. Which I obviously. I think that obviously makes sense. Because Aoko shows them Tsukihime. Right? But then you. You could stretch it out saying, well, then that means Faye Extra is connected to Sukihime and Ark shows up there. But come on, man, that's an Easter egg. All right, so settings, you know already. Now, Glass Zero, Glass Zero, Glass Moon, Chapter Zero. That's the prologue. So the biggest difference, let me go ahead and just pull up a video. So how I'm going to do this is, um, did you see? <laughs> how I'm going to do this is I'm going to show you the original first and then I'm going to show you the remake of my playthrough. So we're going to be just skimming through our playthroughs, our, my playthrough. So, uh, and then I'm going to talk about it. So in the original, right, it's a very short introduction of Shiki childhood about his family getting killed. And then, um, you, you know, it's Shiki family getting killed, right? That's not spoilers. See right here. He said that the person got torn apart, the person I called mom. So that's not spoilers, I hope. <laughs> yeah, so Shiki saw his mom died in front of his eyes. And now that's, uh, it begins chapter zero officially with Shiki waking up in a hospital bed. And then later he meets Alko. And then Alko obviously hug him and gave him glasses to deal with his eyes of death perception. And that officially begins chapter one. But we're not gonna get into chapter one yet. We're going to look at the other one. Let's look at the remake. 
So this is the remake. The big glow up. Man, looks really nice. I love the remake. So the remake starts off with a longer introduction. Man, it looks so fucking good. Dang. Oh my god. Whew. Yeah, I'm so happy. Okay, so it's a longer introduction on Shiki childhood. And then when you start the game officially, it starts off Shiki in a hospital bed. And then it, it, it goes into more details of Shiki spending time with Alko and them bonding. Right? That's why it's a little bit longer than original. Oh, it looks so good. And I honestly, I prefer that in a remake. I want more Alko screen time. I think everybody can agree more Alko screen time is a 10 out of 10 visual novel. And then Alko give the Shiki the, the famous hug. And then gave him glasses, a little head pad. And then they both went their ways. And then the next scene is officially starts chapter one where Shiki is riding a subway to go into school. So that's one thing you have to keep in mind too because of the time difference is no longer 1999 to, you know, yeah, it's no longer 1999, it's 2014, right? They got more modern things like um, cell phones. What's a modern thing? Computers? Wait, they had computers back then. Internet? Internet is a big thing. Yeah, see? So yeah, that's the difference between Glass Moon with the original versus the remake. Not that different, honestly. Just the remake is more detailed. You get more character development and more aqua screen time. So that's a good thing in the remake. Good job, Nasu. All right. Let's go ahead and get to season, season one. Okay. What's <laughs> up? Chapter what's up? One. So we're going to start chapter one. As you can see, chapter one is a little bit different in the remake versus the OG. The OG is called Inversion Impulse 1, right? And then in the remake, they name it Morning of Homecoming 1. And then they stretch it along with day that wasn't. As you remember, when I showed that picture, the next chapter is supposed to be called Impulse Inversion 2. But then they finally Impulse Inversion. That's Inversion Impulse 2. And then they finally start Inversion Impulse on Chapter 3. But there's no such thing as Inversion Impulse 2. So basically what that happened was they destroyed, they didn't destroy. So Inversion Impulse, they only want to focus on Shiki Awakening which is Inversion Impulse 2 and the OG. So Inversion Impulse 1 is basically the introduction of all the characters, which is like, uh, not all the characters, but the, the most common characters, which is like Arihiko, Sasuke, Sasuke's common. She's common in my book. Um, uh, Akia, Hisue, Kohaku, and the first antagonist, Nero. Individual novel, for the remake, they switched the antagonist from Nero to Vlav. So, yeah. Um, this is how we're going to do it. Let me show you the first. I'm not going to show you my playthrough of the remake because it's really long. We're just going to do uh, the original. So, as you can see, Shiki left the Arimas. He met CL Senpai fixing stuff, being a good person. We meet Arihiko, meet Sasuke. Arihiko talk about Shiki Pass. CL went to a little deeper and tried to know Shiki Pass. And then Shiki had a flashback about his time with the Akia, Akia? Tonos. And then the first person he meet in the mansion is Kohaku-san. And the second person he meet in the mansion is Akia. And the third person he meets in the mansion is Hisawe. And then he had a choice to like kill time, right? And then we try to touch Hisa away. No, no touchy. She doesn't like being touched. And then at night, we saw a crow. Obviously, we know who that is from. It is our boy, Nero. Right? And then this is when Shiki first met Nero, the antagonist. And then moves along to chapter two, which is inversion in post two. Okay, so what's the difference with the remake and the original? Okay. Big difference already. This is this is this is where it gets pretty dang different, but foundation wise, it's still pretty the same, right? So Shiki leaves the Arimas, right? He's not walking to school. He is technically walking still, but he's also taking the subway to school. 
He met CL Senpai in the subway instead of outside of the school. We first met Sasuke and Adihiko. We get a little bit more screen time with Sasuke. I'm not too sure it was in this chapter. But I think Sasuke uh, also informed about her background more, like the promise and stuff. And they didn't really do that in the original until Akira route, until you get to the far side of the moon. So Nasu, it's already been like almost two years, right? So Nasu knew it's going to be a long time before we get the far side of the moon route remake. So it's like, you know what, for all the Sasuke fans out there, let me throw in her background information about Shiki making a promise and saving Sasuke when she was in middle school, right? When they were in middle school, right? But Sasuke was like locked in a, in a cold, freezing shed. And Shiki cut the lines, saved Sasuke and the other girls. And Sasuke's like, Shiki, my hero. He'll, he'll always save me when I'm in trouble. That's where we, that's when we learned why Shiki, Shiki, Sasuke loves Shiki. And then, uh, I don't know if it's particularly this scene, but you know, it's somewhere. And then more, um, this where Shiki was like, do I, you know, what do I do after school? We can't really do nothing. Cause I didn't want to go to CL route. So we didn't go to the tea room. And then Shiki's going back to, uh, he's first, he's going towards the tonos. And then he reminisced of the past. Right? And then you think about, oh yeah, there was a third kid that played with us. Right? Oh, you know what's cool? Man, I think both scenes too. The original and um remake, they made uh they made a comment about the white ribbon, right? So what Shiki brought with him is just a white ribbon and his school clothes and stuff. The white ribbon you'll find out when you play Far Side of the Moon. And then this was Shiki first encounter in the first encounter after seven years. He's finally back and the first person he meet just like an original is Kohaku-san. He stayed in the living room and then he met Psyche, which is a new original character. And then he finally meet Akia, right? So it's a little bit different from the original. There's a there's an extra character that Shiki meets in a mansion before Akia, which is a new original character, Psyche Goto. And then, yeah, Miss Akia say, dang, seven years, she changed. And then he found his room, right? Downgraded from a king size bed to like single bed. Even though they're like a rich family, <laughs> you get a single bed. They had dinner, he still is back. And then this is very new. This is, I gotta show you guys this one. This one, this scene is very interesting. This is not in the original at all. This is an extremely interesting scene. As you saw in the original. Hold on. As you saw in the original, after dinner and stuff, he heard a howl at night. And then when he arrived to find a howl, he found Nero. So instead of waking up at night at a howl, he woke up at night and went to a Right, you see Shiki crying? I went too fast, my bad. I guess I'll tell you guys anyway. If you guys want to see this scene, you can watch my playthrough, Sukuyama so Remake, it's on YouTube. And then you see Shiki's, uh, you know, he cried. He's tearing a shed. Shedding, shedding a tear. Um, uh, how you do backlogs? So Shiki, he opened up a um, a drawer and he found something in the drawer, right? He said there's a secret passage that leads to the attic. So that means probably a lot of people in the Tono family do not know about the secret attic. But for some reason, Shiki remember the secret attic, the secret passage to the attic. And then from what he's saying, no one has accessed this attic for several years. Keep going, keep going. And then you find a lot of stuff 
right here this is a key word there are badges accessories binoculars and other miscellaneous items collected by children lying around it might have hint that shiki and the other kids might have used it and store stuff in it right like a little time capsule maybe we don't know because it's not an original this is i think i believe it's a remake original original it's so confusing when i say original there's not in the og visual novel this is like remake only basically and then he found a dirty bandage stored in transparent plastic case it's neatly rolled up but too old to be of any use there's nothing here closing the drawer and decide to go back to my room and then that's when he started crying How you go back? There you go. It's like a movie. So you see this bandage? I like the S and N. That might be um I guess I can't spoil it because the reason you guys are watching this video because you haven't read the original, right? So let's just say Shiki Seven Nines maybe. Maybe that's what it stands for. Nah, clicking. It's a little slow. See, when Shiki found the bandage, that's when he started crying. So that means that bandage has very significant meaning. We don't know what it means yet, but I feel like Nasu is going to go very in-depth of why the scene is so significant he'll go more in depth either you think the cl route i don't think the cl route me personally i think i can only think kohaku route i don't think it fits sasuke route because why is it in the tonal mansion i don't think it fits cl route again why is it in a tonal mansion being stored in the attic that leaves Akia, Hisue, and Kohaku. And when I think of bandages, I think of Kohaku. So I think it's going to have significant meaning in Kohaku route. Remake. Whenever that comes out, hopefully soon. So that's the end of chapter one in the remake. But there's more. We still got a lot of characters to introduce. So here comes an extra chapter again. Day that wasn't. I shouldn't call it extra chapter. The combination of chapter one in the original. So that's when it introduced the character Dr. Eric. Introduced Noel Sensei. More Sasuke screen time. Best screen time. And then they introduced the character Miyu. I tried to go to eat um, a family restaurant with Sasuke. Nasu wouldn't let me. Come on, man. And then we meet Akia again. And then we meet more um, screen time with Saiki Koto. Kohaku. No, I don't think we met Kohaku. Right? It's too early, right? I don't think Kohaku let us watch TV. Did she? Oh, yeah, she did want, let us watch TV. I remember. They were talking about the murders. And then uh, this is when he's away. Um, I think he's probably trying to touch her or something. I don't know why she's making that pose. And then he turned off the lights. And then this scene is pretty significant. This is where people think Vlov kills Nero, right? There's a speculation that Vlov kills Nero and people think it's because of this scene. So we're finally at the scene. Oh. We're finally at the scene where um, Shiki is waking at night because of a howl. And in the original, that's where he meets Nero. But instead, he found the Mavidra novel. Shiki found a man with a dead dog. And then that man pulled out a spear. And then he stabs the dog. And then the dog disappeared. So this is why people speculate 
that Vlov killed Nero, and that's why Nero is not appearing in the Tsukihime storyline for now. I think that's true, to be honest. That makes more sense. But then now I'm questioning why would Vlov kill Nero? Well, the another answer is Vlov probably doesn't like the other dead apostles. That's another reason. And then that's the end of chapter one of the OG of Tsukihime. So that's chapter one of the OG Tsukihime compared to the remake. Big difference is a lot longer, a lot more added scenes, a lot more character development with Sasuke. And a very hidden scene that doesn't have any significant meaning right now, but we is come on man if someone cries it's going to be super significant later either in seattle route which i highly doubt or the later routes which is in the far side of the moon and then they introduced their other characters which is dr eric noel miu woe is me and they introduced vlog the antagonist the new antagonist of tsukihime Freeman. So that's the that's the difference between chapter one OG and I guess the first two chapters. They got expanded to two chapters in the remake. Okay. Alright. So chapter one. Wow, that was long. <laughs> but the other chapters get shorter because chapter one's the introduction. And they had a lot of characters to introduce. By the way, that's not all the new characters. There's still a lot more characters, but they don't really get a really good introduction compared to the first two chapter characters did so let's get to it um i guess yeah same format this one so chapter two inversion impulse two and the og and a remake they call it inversion impulse two <laughs> so shiki woke up he so he wakes him up akia send him off to school with Kohaku, he's the way Kohaku stops Shiki. Kohaku gives Shiki a knife. He's the way blush at the knife. Okay, there's more. Don't worry. Um. Oh, that's the remake. Crap. Where's the this one? Okay, and then it continues right here. Oh yeah, um, by the way, Hisui's the original saber face, right? Takuichi loved Hisui so much, he puts everything in, um, hold, oh, wait a minute. Hey, what's this? I don't remember this being in the library. What? Um, what the hell? Uh, Takuichi loved Hisui so much, he put, a, he put Hisui in every game. I don't know why I had that Tosuka picture with uh, Shiki. So he's the way to send Shiki off to school. Narihiko and CL talk to Shiki. I feel like they replaced CL with Sasuke. They just talk more. Shiki went to school. And then he's going home. White woman spotted. Oh yeah, his uh, whatchamacallit was acting anemic so that's why they sent shiki home from school early and then white woman spotted shiki stalks her knock on her door 17 pieces went home and sleep and that's it that was the end of chapter two of the og so <laughs> as you know you saw it from chapter one. Yep, they're gonna make this a lot longer. So, Inversion Impost, AKA, in the original Inversion Impost 2. So, he's the way he wakes Shiki up. He talks to Akia before going to school. They both have breakfast. Koaku gave Shiki his knife. Oh, they still have CL. That's nice. Senpai. Senpai Adehiko talks to Shiki early in the morning. Lunch break? What to do for lunch? <laughs> he eat with CL Senpai. And then he started getting anemic. He went home early for the day. White woman spotted. 
Oh man. Can we show this? I didn't. YouTube has a new policy. That's great. Let's risk it for the biscuit. Cause this is pretty gory. Oh man, I love this. Can we see this? Risk it for the biscuit. Why is it not? Stop, stop it. Stop. Oh my god. Stop. Shake it. Okay. There you go. <laughs> He's throwing up. Hey, did we, did we skip it? Can, can I see it one more time? Come on, let's show it. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Yo, 17 pieces. Oh my God. Dude, yeah, they remake outdone itself right here. Nasu outdone himself. The whole Type Moon team outdone themselves. And then he remembers the past. He remembers Sensei. Dude, this is way better than the original. I give it that. The remake did justice to this scene. This scene is very impactful. I just hope when they do an anime adaptation, they can do it as good as the remake did it. They did justice to it. Was that it? I think it froze. Yeah, that was it. Yeah, that was good. I didn't show you the 17 pieces. You saw a little bit, but yeah, that was really good. Bravo. Let me. Good job, Nasu. I will give them. I will give them this. This is way better than the original. This particular chapter, this particular chapter, white woman spotted way better than original. And then Shiki find his way home and sleep like a baby. So that was it was a lot of I told you it was going to be shorter than chapter one. All right? So that's the end of chapter two, Inversion Impulse. Two. I guess in remake, they call it just Inversion Impulse, guys. Here we go. Chapter three, The Black Beast. All right? Where is it? Not this one. Not, not this one. What? There you go. The Black Beast one. And then it's going to be chapter four in the remake which is called Inferno of Blood 1. So, just like we've been doing before, man, let's go through this one. We'll have to go to the next part. Let me go to part three. There you go. So part three, right, Shiki wakes up. He's gonna wake uh, Shiki up. He took a shower or whatever, you know, getting ready for school. Akio's like, what the hell, Shiki? And then he's going to see Shiki off. And then on his way to school, Ark is waiting for him. Sting on the rails. And then Shiki ran for his life. He somehow ended up in the back alleyway. Ark cornered him. And now Shiki did the most surprising thing Ark never realized. Right? He apologizes to Ark. Ark shocked. She was like, maybe he's not such a bad person. Maybe I'll use him as a meat shield. So, Ark offers Shiki to be in alliance with her. If Shiki refused, she'd kill him. If he, you know, agreed to alliance, then he's Shiki's, Ark's new meek shield. All right, so the alliance begin. And then Black Panther, or Wolf, shows up. Ark easily disposes of it. Shiki's scared for his life, saying, what the hell? And then, they went to go hide in a hotel. This chapter is a little bit longer than the others. So, after they hide in a hotel, right? Ark asked Shiki to watch over her, be the watchdog. Shiki fell asleep. He had a dream of the past. Ark's like, you're supposed to be watching me sleep. Why am I watching you sleep? And then they share a bond, right? Ark tells more of Shiki about vampires and how they work. Shiki tells Arks about his eyes of depth perception. 
and in the hotel is being attacked by Nero. Nero kills everyone in the hotel. Nero attacks Shiki. Shiki uh, had a flashback. He killed the dogs. Nero came. Nero almost killed Shiki. Ark took the hit for Nero. I mean, uh, for Shiki. And then that's the it for uh, chapter three. All right, and then that's the next chapter. Saving. Yeah, chapter four. So that's the end of chapter three in the OG. So I guess uh, it's now turned to chapter four because the extra chapter, right? The extra chapter, it messed up the order. So it's going to be confusing. So chapter four in the remake is chapter three and um, the original. And all you need to know is they replaced Vov with Nero. I mean, they replaced Nero with Vov. So the black beast turned into an infernal river of blood. I think that's a pretty cool title. So same thing, right? He still wakes up uh, Shiki. Right? They get ready for school. Well, Shiki gets ready for school. Ark's waiting for him. And then trapped him in the alleyway. And they made an alliance. Instead of a, a wolf, there's a black panther. Ark easily disposed the black panther. And then we get a new scene, right? It, it slowly introduces Vlov. So we see people in the tunnel running for their lives and Vlov set them on fire and eat them. And then now we're back at Ark and Shiki going to a very luxurious hotel. Ark asked Shiki to watch her sleep, be on guard. Shiki ran. Or you can choose to watch her sleep, which you're supposed to do. But if you run, you meet Miyu, and then you die by a panther. So after you watch Ark sleep, she teaches you about how vampires work in Tsukihime, and that they're called ancestors, true ancestors, and um, 27 dead apostles, and ghouls, and other stuff. And then Shiki tell Ark about his eyes of death perception. And after they bonded, Vlog shows up and kills everyone. Vlog sent his dogs after Shiki and Ark. Shiki disposed of the dogs. Same thing, right? He had a flashback of his summer days, right? His childhood. And then Vlog was going to kill Shiki. Ark took the hit. So that's the chapter. Very similar to, right? So foundation wise, chapter the Black Beast 1. And for no, I'm not going to say chapter three because it's going to be confusing. I'm just going to say the chapter names. Black Beast 1 and Inferno River of Blood 1 are very, very similar foundation wise. There's a little bit of new extras like Miyu talking with Shiki if he runs away. And then um, a Black Panther instead of a wolf, but it's 90% pretty much the same. And then obviously, right? No Nero. In the remake, they replaced Nero with Vlov. So 90% same thing, right? Okay. So now we're at the next chapter, the Black Beast 2, right? So the Black Beast 2 in the original, and it's called Inferno River of Blood 2 in the remake. So let's go ahead and take a look at the original first. This one. Oh uh, yeah, I wanted to show off some uh, type Lumina gameplay before I start the game. So Shiki, right? Remember, Ark was injured. So Shiki carry Ark to her room. Remember, he knows where Ark lives because he's stalker. Ark made a full recovery. No, I shouldn't say that. Ark made a recovery, slight recovery, AKA. Oh no, they're talking a lot. Show me your tummy. Did she show me her tummy? She showed me her tummy. That's it. There you go. So Ark basically put duct tape on her wounds and was like, I'm good. And Shiki's like, bro, you're you're crazy. Hey, so this entire conversation, I think they were talking more in depth of uh what happens, like a recap, right? 
And then R is, uh, she tried to cook something for Shiki, I think. I don't think she could cook. I think Shiki tried to cook for something for her. And then to talk more about vampires. And then R is asking Shiki, are you going to do this, right? If you meet Nero, you'll die. She's having second thoughts of having Shiki as a meat show because Ark herself is finding, she doesn't realize it yet, but she's liking Shiki a little bit more that she doesn't want Shiki to die. So she's telling Shiki, you know, if we fight Nero, there's a chance you'll die. And then Nero, uh, Ark was like, uh, not Ark. Shiki was like, let's do it. And then they come up with a plan to kill Nero, basically. this one so this is the big fight scene with Nero R confronts Nero Shiki's trying to find an opening he found an opening but then they didn't realize that Nero is like he, he has eyes in the back of his head or some something like that he can see everything he doesn't react his animals react for him he's 666 Nevinsky so Ark's finding Nero Shiki tried to take the advantage, but you know, failed. And now they have to, Shiki has to fight Nero legit. 1v1. Ark's injured. Shiki's fighting Nero 666 Beast. Man, I want to see this in anime. <laughs> oh my god. Don't direct me to the. The Tsukuhime anime never existed. Man, I, I hope on Photoball animates this one day. I don't know. They might put Nero in the after the the far side of the moon route, maybe. That'd be cool. I want to see Shiki versus Nero six 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 beast. I wonder how good Shiki is. That's amazing. Shiki kills six hundred sixty six Nero beasts in one swoop. You know what triggered it? It's because there was a girl too, one of Shiki classmates. She randomly popped up in the park at night. She was probably coming home from school after club, right? She's a very hardworking student and Nero ate her because he needed, you know, if you, if, if vampires eat people, they get powers and heal faster and stuff, I think. So after the fight with Ark, he needed to, you know, regenerate and stuff. And then that's when Shiki, you know, something went off in his head. He was like, I have to kill you. You just killed my classmate. Now you have to die. And then Nero's like, how is this human beating me? And then Ark's like, that's my Shiki. And then Shiki killed uh, Nero. And then uh, he passed out because he was really tired. And that's the end of chapter four. Yeah, chapter four, the Black Beast. So now in the remake, they call it Infernal River of Blood 2. It's way longer. It's more than an hour. This fight is really long. But very, very, very similar path as the original, right? Uh, Shiki dragged Ark, dying body, to the apartment, let her rest there, right? She duct taped her wounds. Shiki properly treat her. Now they talk about the 27 uh, ancestors, right? Shiki, uh, Ark teaches Shiki more about vampires. And then Ark asked him one more time because now Ark likes Shiki a little bit more. So she's trying to tell Shiki, this is your last chance to get out and get a normal life. If you fight Vlav, you may die. Shiki's like, I'll do it. And then the difference is they, how do they know? Oh yeah, because Nero is trying to kill Ark. That's how they know. So Ark was bait and she waited at the park. The diff this is where it gets different from the original. They look for Vlov. Isn't Vlov looking for Ark? <laughs> Couldn't they just, uh, yeah, yeah. See, they wait at the park. I wonder why they try to find his nest. Oh no, that's the bad ending. Oh, that's the bad ending. That's what happened. Okay, okay. So the good ending is to use Ark as bait way at the park. And then this would get really different, right? It, it was like, oh yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty similar to um the original, right? Ark's gonna be bait. 
Nero came and took the bait and they fought. Hey, right? Is it going to happen in the remake? No, Vlav is not Nero. He did not take the bait. Instead, he tried to get stronger by eating more people. So he's killing everyone. No, no, no. He's not trying to get stronger. I think he's going in a frenzy. So that's the first thing. They didn't really talk about Vlav backstory in the arc route too much. I learned it mostly through Melty Blood. They talk about the Melty Blood uh, storyline. But Vlav is trying to uh, find Ark, the true ancestor. Because he wants to absorb her to gain his sanity back. Because he's losing his mind. So, and that's the difference between Vlav and Nero. Vlav is losing his sanity. Nero is still pretty sane, even though Nero has 666 beasts. Which is very impressive. So, that makes me think Nero is probably stronger than Vlav. <laughs> even though Vlav's like a beast already. But, Vlav lost his mind. Right, he couldn't hold it any longer, and he went on a rampage and started killing everyone. So, Shiki and Ark saw the fire. This is where we get the iconic. You want to see the iconic scene? I'll show it to you. This is iconic. This doesn't happen in the original, by the way. This is remake only, and it's so iconic to me. Man, the remake is so good. taking a while though Nintendo switch you want to switch to Japanese I have the PS4 version it's faster it's going to go a little bit slower this one they jump right there you go see this one arc jumps it's so cool. It's like an anime. Oh my god. <laughs> you see, this this way it gets very different from the original. It gets anime. Now I see watching a lot of anime recently, so he probably got influenced. Alright. She gonna jump really high with Shiki. And then they got like the Batman view. Looking at the burning city. Hold on. Is, isn't it fast if I just use my own video? Yeah. But. I'm too lazy to find which video is which. Because there's so many parts. It's a really long visual novel. And then. Here you go. They're looking at the burning city. Vlav is not even eating them. Right? He is kind of eating them at the same time, I guess. But he's just really on a rampage. He just lost his mind. Everyone's being burned alive. So yeah, he's not really eating them. You see that? He's just watching them burn. He lost his mind. He wasn't cut out to be a dead apostle. Oh. There you go. Now he eats them. Yeah, at this point, Vlav is basically just a monster. And they're all watching. Don't skip the iconic scene. Press X. Press X. Come on. She's pretty cute, I'm not gonna lie. They kind of made her a little bit cuter. What did it do different? Did they make her eyelashes longer? I think it's her hair. I think they made her bangs different. You think it's the hoagie? I don't know, man. For some reason, I like remake arc. She's pretty dang cute. Oh, they made her face longer. That's probably it. It's the egg shape, huh? I remember their, their head used to be small in the uh, original. There you go. This is the iconic scene. You want to hear... Uh, I don't feel like putting on the sounds. She jumped. Wait, wait for it. Wait for it. Anime. Come on, Nintendo Switch. There you go. Iconic scene. Doom, doom. 
Dang, that's my girl, dude. They made Ark so much more likable in the remake. She's so cool in the remake. Right? They made her less of a psychopath. That's what they did. She's less of a psychopath in the remake. And they just made her cooler, like a hero. And then she killed millions of people. <laughs> I'm just kidding. She didn't kill millions of people. The visual novel in the remake says that everyone got blown away safely. I mean, all right. Ark didn't kill anyone when she created that giant hole in the city. Sure, I believe it. So, there's that. So, Ark created a giant hole. And then the fight scenes got way longer. So, in the original, it was like pretty over instantly. Because Shiki, he could see the lines and... It was like 666 beasts versus one man, but Shiki's so godlike, he killed everyone in like one second. So Shiki was a little bit more OP in the original. In the remake, he's not that OP, maybe because his genetics haven't awakened yet fully. So he's using his, his, he's pretty smart. He has the main protagonist armor. So he like fly and stuff. All right, let's 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 go by step by step what happened in the remake. So in the remake, right, they are created a giant crater in the city, and Vlog, he's so powerful, everything around him is like below zero degrees. So he's dropping the temperature really cold. I think right now it's hot, not cold. Right now it's hot. Everything is super hot. It's over a gajillion degrees right now. So it's like burning hot. So Art put her special flame proof dress on. So that's a new power she has in a remake. She has this power probably in the original, but she never uses it, right? I think it's Marvel Phantasm. So she could have put on a new dress, but they didn't feel like it in the original, right? Cause you know, time constraint, money, whatever. But in the remake, they were like, F it, give Ark a dress. Why? Cause it's cute. So she got a fireproof dress, right? And Shiki's trying to go in there, but it's like, dang, it's hot. Ark, she landed a finishing blow on Vlog. And she goes like, yeah, let's do it. And then Vlog pull out his secret weapon, Ice Time. I'm the Ice Man. And then he pull out his lance. And then that's when Ark, like, basically protected the entire city. See, they made Ark more of a superhero in the remake. And I like that. She protected everyone again. And now she's like down in the count, right? She's almost being defeated by Vlov. She could have easily be Vlov if she wasn't protecting the people, right? She could have just dodged this. But if she dodged it, everything behind her is going to get destroyed and killed. So Ark took the hit from Vlov of his ice beam, super ice beam lance. And um, she saved the city again. And then Shiki made a ridiculous plan. He fought Vlov, boom, boom, boom. And Shiki's like, dang, I can't get near him. It's so cold. If I get near him, I'll die in like 10 seconds. So I have to kill him in one second. So she could develop a plan to get near Vov. And Ark's like, oh, that's a good plan. Ark threw Shiki up in the sky with an auto collapse building. And then he killed Vov. And then just like uh, in the original, when Shiki killed Nero, he just passed out on the spot. Um... In Ark route, I don't think Ark. Did Ark put the gooey stuff from Nero into Shiki? Or was that CL route? It's one of them. But in a remake, similar to the OG, I don't remember if Ark or CL route. She found like Vlog remnants, gooey stuff, and put it in Shiki to heal. So that's why Shiki didn't die, because of the gooey stuff. So he's like part dead apostle, kind of. You just got the healing factor of a dead apostle. And then there's an epilogue to this chapter. They show the church for the first time. And that's different from the original. So this chapter, right? The Black Beast 2 and Infernal River of Blood 2. They were very similar in the beginning. All the way up to the fight scene. When Shiki and Ark fight Nero in the park. 
that's when it turns completely different. This is a completely different story. They added iconic scene. The battle's better. And then they made Ark more of a superhero. It is kind of dumb. I'm not going to lie. In terms for Tsukihime. Because Shiki whole thing, right? He's like an assassin. And they everything they do is at night. Because they don't want the people to find out. And then like millions of people just died. In the remake. And then like there was a giant fire in the city. Of course everyone know. They were like what the hell is going on? What the hell? You know, obviously with the magic power of the church, they just covered the whole thing up like it never happened. Oh, it's a gas leak. It's a little bit of a stretch, but it is what it is. It's cooler, I guess. But I think I like the Nero fight more because it fits more in line. If you know who Shiki is, Tono Shiki. If I have to put him in a class and uh, like, you know, a face day night, you know, like Saber, Archer, Lancer, Shiki's an assassin. He do everything in one hit and he do everything stealth, right? And that's why he also did this. He's, he stealth killed Vlog because Vlog didn't know where Shiki was at. And Shiki was able to get close to Vlog to do a one hit blow. So he's an assassin. This is like a big explosion in the city. Everyone knows what the hell is going on, right? With the power of anime, they're able to cover it up thanks to the church. Don't get me wrong, very cool and iconic. So I give the remake that. And this was an epic, this is probably my favorite fight scenes. Dang, is it better than everything I've seen in Type Moon? I don't really mess with Grand Order. So I only watch Stay Night, read the visual novel, watched the anime, saw Heaven Fills, Unlimited Blade Works. And Tsukihime. It's the only two I did. Um, it's one of the coolest fight scenes I've seen in Titan Moon. One of the coolest. I want to say the coolest. Right? Because I, I gotta admit, with the power of plot armor, I think Shiro did so cool with uh, Gilgamesh. But we're not talking about that. Oh, yeah. And dang, that dude, the arch. Oh, let's not get into a different video. Oh, the archer versus Shiro one. Oh, my God. That one's good too. Holy crap. Okay, okay. Uh, back to Tsukihime. This is one of the best fight scenes for sure. Easy. This is better than... Um, you already know. You're here because you know about the arc route and you don't care about arc spoilers. So this is better than Royal Fight in my opinion. It is the best fight in the arc route. So that's the end of Inferno River of Blood 2 and the Black Beast 2. Alright. So we're here with the next chapter, Blue Scar of Sin. And in the remake, they call it Cerulean Stigma. Okay, so let's go over the original first. This one. Blue Scar. This one? So, this one has hentai in it. I censor it, obviously. This is... This is the one where Ark... This chapter is in the original. This is when Ark sends Lin. Lin's a succubus. She sends Lin to Shiki dreams. And whoever Shiki thinks of, he will have a wet dream. It could be Akiha. It could be Hisue, Kohaku, Ark, or CL. I think this Hisue one's a threesome with Kohaku. I know Akiya is a threesome with Kohaku as well. I think Hisue might be solo. I think Akiya is the only one with the threesome, right? I don't remember. I didn't really pay attention to the H scene. I went through it pretty quickly. I didn't really want to read it. I just looked at the pictures and move on. You know, Tai Moon and H scenes don't get along. So first thing first, Hisue is worried about Shiki. Right? He's all beat up, covered in wounds. Shiki's like, don't tell Akia. Hisui's like, okay. And then Kohaku came in today and helped Shiki get better. Kohaku's so cute. Okay. And then Shiki had the option to tell Akia the truth, what happened. And then Shiki's like, everything's cool. Everything's done. I killed the vampire. You could tell her that. 
And then Aki's like, what the hell are you talking about, Shiki? <laughs> he says he's Shiki off to school. And then Arihiko tells Shiki about the the murder is still going on, I think. I don't remember. He's way see Shiki can that's one thing I miss in the remake. In the remake, he's way doesn't greet Shiki back. She doesn't wait outside the gate for him anymore. I wonder why. Maybe in the Hisui route. Shiki. Arc. Oh, yeah. This is the wet dream. Um, this is the wet dream. I chose Arc because there's the Arc route. We had a wet dream. And then that's the end of the chapter. So the chapter is more like a... An afterglow, a Shiki beating Nero, right? He's just basking, saying, yo, I did it. Yeah, everything's over. Woo! Right? And then you get rewarded with an H scene of whoever he won you want to um, see. So that was the Blue Scar sin. Now, and the um, remake is called Cerulean Stigma. Obviously, there's no H scene. So let's just we'll go in order. He's way wakes up Shiki. She's worried about him. He's all beat up. He say, don't tell Akia. He tried to explain Akia what happened, right? And then we could either choose Dr. Eric or Kohaku to repair you, uh, repair, um, treat Shiki wounds. If you choose Dr. Eric, it show it give a little bit more background information on Shiki. So you get a little bit more information. So that's a nice little touch in a remake I like. And then you were like, how do I spend my afternoon? So and the difference between the remake and original already. In original, you had to go to school. In a remake, Shiki does not have to, sco- I have to go to school. So he just have a uh, reminiscence, right? Reminisce of the past. You get a little bit more background information and character development of Shiki himself. And then he remembers Ark. And like, I can't believe it. Everything's over. And that's the end of Cerulean Stigma. So, what's the similarities? It's just Shiki. Basically, these two chapters, foundation-wise, is pretty similar. Right? It's just Shiki basking in the light, saying everything is finally over. I can go back to my normal life. And then, he's always still worried about Shiki Moons. He still talks to Akia. And the difference is you can either choose uh, Dr. Eric or Kohaku to treat your room. In the original, only Kohaku can treat your wounds. And instead of going to school, Shiki stayed home and walked around his house or the, you know, the big landmark that Art created. And then he basked in the glow. So that is the similarities and difference between the original chapter, Blue Scar Sin, and the remake chapter cerulean stigma all right here we go chapter six i should stop saying the numbers because it get confusing with the remake i should say eyes of death perception one chapter eyes of death perception one and um go ahead and just pull this down same naming in the remake right eyes of death perception one it's just that the remake had like a little bit of an extra chapter for the character introduction uh, same format. We're just gonna go with the OG, and then we'll compare it to the remake. Uh, let's see, this one, this one. Okay. So, right. So first thing first, Shiki starts off the morning waking up. Hisue wakes up. Shiki, well, Shiki, I think Shiki wakes up before Hisue. He go to school talk to you know his friend senpai arihiko and you know everything's back to normal and then arihiko tell shiki the bad news there's more killings and then shiki's like what the heck i thought we killed the vampire how is there more murderers about you know blood sucking fiends and then arihiko's like look at the tv oh well shiki was looking at the tv and then Shiki's shocked. He's like, how is there a vampire? Right? So I think, what's this? See, the first thing that Shiki goes to is Ark Place. Ark's not there. 
Shiki searching for Ark the entire day after school. He can't find her. He finally returned home, only to find there's a special guest waiting for him. And there was Akia sweating with Ark, happily waiting for Shiki. Shiki pulls Ark out of the mansion. Tell her, what the heck are you doing? Right? And then he took her to the park. And then he wanted to ask Ark. Right? Are you sucking blood? Yeah, she didn't like that. That question. And then Ark had to tell Shiki, Look, Shiki, the vampire we killed, he's irrelevant. He's not the vampire she was looking for, right? She's looking for Roa. Nero just so happened to just pop up out of nowhere. And that's where Shiki was confused. He was like, what? There's more than one vampire in town, right? He wasn't expecting that. So now he agreed to help Ark to find Roa by tracking down Roa, uh, what they call not goblins, ghouls, right? His minions, so they could find Roa hideout. And then they go around town finding for the the zombie vampires. Shiki found it. Ark quickly dispatch it. And then let's see, there's more. Um, yeah, remember what's it called? Not this one. Night. And then Ark explains Shiki what Shiki is, right? He's like a psychic or whatever. He's not like a, you know, a Magus because he wasn't like, he has magic circuit kind of, but it's not like magic. It's weird. It's, I don't know. It's, it's, it's kind of difficult to explain. So a psychic. Let me see if they explain it. They can explain it better than me. She explained a lot of stuff, right? She go more do, uh, deep into details with vampires and psychics. Let's see. I want her to talk about psychics. She said that Ro is like a, you know, he's the, he's like one of the top dead apostles. He's not that strong though, because you know, he keep reincarnating to a new body. So his strength varies from what bodies we re reincarnate to. I don't know if this version Ro is the strongest or Alicia version is the strongest, but This version of Roa have the eyes of depth perception. She's talking about psychic. I could have sworn. And that's it. All right. I think she just really, I, I could have sworn she talked more about psychics. I might've skipped too far, but she goes some more depth of the vampire classes, right? Like dead apostles, their castles, how many people they killed, you know, why they kill people, stuff like that. So it go it goes more deep into like the setting lore um, rather than the story, right? And for the remake, it's pretty much the same thing, right? Shiki's going down to his daily life, right? And then he found out not by well, I don't remember. What's the how did he go that tell him? Well, instead of a TV that told him, you know, hey, there's more murderers, he looked into like I think his cell phone, and he was like, what the heck? And then he went to go find Ark. And then he couldn't find Ark, so he go back to the mansion only to find uh oh the worst situation could ever happen. Akia finding out about Ark. He dragged Ark outside of the mansion. They go to the park. Ark um She hunts the undead. And then she explains more lore on the Tsukihime universe about the vampire classes, why they kill their castles and all that. And I think she talks about psychics as well. That Shiki's a psychic. And also, there's a little bit of a remake only thing that they added, which is art dress. Shiki's like, let me see you in that dress again. 
So a little fan service, this was nice. And then they go back home. So yeah, that's pretty much it. It's just, you know, chapter seven is like reinitiating the story saying, hey, it's not really over. And they go explain the setting of Tsukihime a little bit more. That's all that chapter really was. So I'll say 95% pretty much the same. A little bit 5% difference because of Noelle Sensei and Ark and Address. That's it, really. All right. Not too different. So we're going to continue on to the next chapter, Eyes of Death Perception 2. All right, so let's go ahead and go through it real quick. And I guess I can show you the remake. All right, Eyes of Death Perception 2. Here's the picture, All right? Same naming, right? Just a little bit labeled differently because it's an extra chapter and remake. Let's go through the original first. Shiki has a dream about his past. Akia, what's this? Smooth things over. <laughs> oh my god. Have a little bit of fun with Akia in the morning. Alright. Make her feel a little bit happy. And then the biggest surprise. Ark visit Shiki's school. Shiki tried to ignore it, but he can't. So he, he went to go talk to Ark. CL interrupts, I believe. Yeah, Senpai interrupts. Now school is over. He went back home. He asked Hisue for the keys to the house. Because Shiki, he made a deal with Ark in the previous chapter, right? So... That deal was he'll help her hunt vampires, which is Voro, right? Because he found out that Vlob wasn't really the vampire they were really after, right? It was Roa or Nero or Vlob, whatever. It gets confusing. The vampire they just previously killed, he doesn't matter. He was just extra. So now they got to hunt for the big dog, Roa. So Ark and Shiki's going to start hunting Roa starting from this chapter or at least they started previous chapter um so shiki knows that he'll be out and about very late and the tona mansion usually lock up like i think around like eight or something like that so he, he was asking he's for like an employee key and he was like um okay the key thing is if you don't get this he's key the employee key you get a bad ending. So that's pretty cool. Let's continue it here. So he went to, uh, he was a little bit late, right? He tried to sneak out, but you know, he got stuck with uh, the tonal shenanigans. Well, just dinner or stuff. And then he made it to Ark. Ark's pissed like, why are you late? Well, it doesn't matter, you're here. Let's go hunt some vampires. And she was like, uh, okay. Uh, actually, I think she was worried too because Shiki doesn't look too good. Maybe. Oh, yeah, she's worried about Shiki because he's using his eyes a lot more. The eyes of death perception. And honestly, with great power comes great side effects, right? That's how usually they balance it. That way, the character won't be too OP. So, Shiki using his eyes of death perception a lot. Arx gets a little bit worried. But Shiki's like, nah, I'm fine. Don't worry about it. And then Ark's like, okay. So they went to go hunt from vampires. And then they didn't find anything worthy. And then she, this is where she goes deep. Let's see. I wonder why she's not talking about this. Oh, I think this is where she goes deep into psychics. Okay. This is where she goes deep into psychics. What's this? <clears throat> Lessonly, without a single use of magic circuits, there are humans who, despite not being of a transcendental race, have the potential to create phenomena. There you go. This is the difference between Maggie and psychics. Maggie classified them as being psychics. While still human, they are mutants who are born with magic circuits. Such as, without any learning of the occult, someone can see the death of things. So that's what psychics are. They're humans that can still, that's mutated. 
that could use like a what's what she, what she said? Oh, with magic circuits. They're born with magic circuits. Oh yeah, I remember. I haven't played Face Day Night in a while, so I always forget. But it's very special to be a Maggie, right? Only one person in the family could be a Maggie. Oh, Magus, whatever they call it, right? Like a uh, example with the Tosaka family, right? They had like Sakura and Ren, and Ren was chosen to be the new, um, what do I call her? Tosaka. Okay, I, th I thought I called her Tono. The yeah, so Ren was chosen to be the new Tosaka heir, so she was given the magic circuit. Sakura said she couldn't, you know, even though they're, you know, she's their daughter. They she can't. She can't inherit the magic circuit, so they gave her away to a family with like no magic uh, talent. It's kind of messed up, but it is what it is, right? So only one child can inherit the family magic circuit. So these psychics are super unique. Then that makes them it makes them pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. How the hell should I? Use magic. He doesn't have a magic circuit, right? He can't hit it, um, Kiritsugu. So, I know that Archer was because of the Guardian of the Earth. Maybe Shiro's a psychic too. So, she explains about psychic. Uh oh. Ark's getting hungry. So because Art got hungry, she left a little bit early. Um, so they disbanded their vampire hunt and ended early for the night. And then Shiki went home and all the lights turned off. And that's where he met a foe. We all know this is Roa. So Roa went to, no, this is not Roa. At this moment, this is Shiki, capital letter Shiki. Capital letter Shiki wanted to fight Shiki be because that's what he wants. I guess he wanted to settle the score, right? And then Shiki was, you know, he had his back to the wall and it come to the save. Senpai, this is a extremely iconic scene. I'm not going to lie. I was extremely disappointed in the remake. <laughs> That's one thing I hated in the remake. I'm not gonna lie. I'm like, what the hell? Are they Nasu, are you trolling? Why? This is the iconic scene where Shiki's were like, nice boots. Senpai. Well he doesn't know that's senpai, but he kinda know that senpai. And then the one thing that stuck out to him for some reason is he really liked her boots. I don't know why. But Shiki just really liked her boots. So CL Senpai saved Shiki from Roa. And then that's the end of that chapter, right? Death Perception 2. So, okay. Now let's get to the difference with the remake. This is a big difference. This is where it gets really different. You already see it. There's like so many characters. Like, what the heck? What? What? All right, all right, all right. So, Shiki had a dream about his past. He wakes up, talks to Akia a little bit in the morning. Aw, I feel sad. And then the biggest difference already, right? Oh man, I, I exited, huh? Let's see. That's what they, is this nighttime? And she talked about Psyche, so. So, that's the biggest difference. He's, he's, Shiki meets Mario and some other guy from the church, right? before going to school. See, in the original, he just talked to Akia, and then, bam, he went to school, and then Ark, you know, visits him in school, and see how Senpai's there, stuff like that. But, when, in the remake, Mario and the other guy shows up, Mario give Shiki a warning, right? A stern warning. They're trying to find out who the hell Roa reincarnated to. So Mario's trying to like test Shiki, because Shiki's like prime suspect number one. So Mario questions Shiki some things. Shiki played dumb. 
And then Mario gave Shiki a warning because Shiki keep playing dumb, right? He said that, you know, your, your normal life slipping away, stuff like that. And then Shiki went to school or visit him in school. You can choose to ignore her, but if you do, sure cause a ruckus. And then... There's no CO Senpai. No CO Senpai. That's one thing, that's like one huge difference. I'll talk about it at the end of the video too. But I'm gonna get this out the way too and just repeat myself later. One huge difference with the OG compared to the remake, there's like barely any senpai scenes. We don't know what happened to CL Senpai. Mario said that he sent CL Senpai home, but obviously she showed up later, so she probably disobeyed orders, but so they replaced CL Senpai with Noel and Mario. Noel and Mario replaced CL Senpai. So Ark visited Shiki in school. She could give Ark a stern talking to saying, hey, you can't be doing this. Trust me. And then he went to look for Roa Hideout. Found nothing. This is pretty significant. I wonder, abandoned hospital. You know what's cool? I'll give you guys something cool. Uh, Sasuke? Sasuke route. I read a little bit. A little bit. It doesn't exist. It does exist, but you know, not subscribed up. I read the Tsukihime Fantas. You can find them on YouTube. They talk about the Sasuke route. But Sasuke, her hideout is an abandoned warehouse. What if Nasu, you know, because Nasu changed Misaki Town, the setting from Misaki Town to Soya. They moved to Tono Mansion. They got a new school. All that stuff, right? What if Nasu changed Sasuke hideout from an abandoned warehouse to an abandoned hospital? And this scene, it's gonna be significant in the Sasuke route. If I'm right, I called it. Tell everybody that Fruit Punch Saber was right. Dang, he's good. Because it, it's so odd, right? Why would they include this scene? It doesn't make sense. They could have just, you know, cut it, skip it. But they chose to keep that in. I doubt it'll be significant in the CL route. So I'm thinking this probably Sasuke new hideout. Okay, so Shiki made it back to the mansion. He waits till nighttime. Oh, this is where he get the keys. Did he get the keys from yesterday? He didn't get the keys from Hizue yesterday. He got the keys from Hizue today. Okay. And then they um they went vampire hunting. They actually had a fight scene. It was pretty epic. I'm not gonna lie. It's pretty good. It was more uh, character development with uh, Ark and Shiki. And then Ark was like, you know, she's getting tired. And she knows Shiki's getting tired. Shiki's going beyond his limit. She told Shiki and warned him about, you know, overusing his eyes, the eyes of death perception. And then she, and she might have got a little bit hungry, so she left. She didn't want to, you know, suck Shiki's blood, maybe. I don't know. And then, oh my god. This scene is a troll. This seems like something straight out of an April Fool's joke. Nasu, what are you trying to tell me? What are you doing, bro? What are you trying to tell me, Nasu? I just want to know. Can someone interview Nasu and tell him, what the hell, man? Bro, why? What the hell? This was confusing. I was, I don't know. I felt, I felt some type of way. This is so cool, man. And then they troll us like this. Is this where, um, Noel still CL? Going fast. The power of O is with me. Oof, that red. <laughs> it gets so red sometimes that I have to look away. Damn, I love this game. It's the black keys. It will like, oh, senpai, senpai. Oh my god. Yeah, you're gonna say cheeky just like in uh, the, uh, the original. Oh, it's the black keys. Yay. 
We all, I got excited. We all got excited. And then Shiki look up. It was like, yeah, it's time for the boots. And then I'm like, what the fuck? Noel! <gasps> she is pretty cute. I'm not gonna lie. Man, I wish she got a route. I guess she do got a route. She had, so anybody that's interested in Noel, I doubt Tsukihime might get a fan disc. I doubt it, but Noel do have a route technically, right? Noel route is in Melty Blood type Lumina. I believe it's called Boss Rush 2. And a little bit of spoilers. She got isekai I think. She did a lot of stuff with Shiki. And then she... She had a happy ending with Nania. So she actually, I like that pairing a lot. I think that's better than Shiki, to be honest. I think Noel likes, you know, I think she likes bad boys, right? I think she would love Nania. That makes sense. Natsu, 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 did Natsu write Boss Rush 2 and Type Luna that route? I like that. So Noel had a happy, nah, I wouldn't call it happy. She had like one last moment with Nania. And they had to say goodbye to each other, right? Dang, they, I wish they kissed, bro. That one was sick. Fuck. Oh, that was so cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then she woke up. And then when she woke up, she was like, dang, I miss Nanya. And then, you know who appears? Tono Shiki. Fucking Shiki, bro. Shiki cooking breakfast for Noel. And she's in bed. I don't know why he's cooking breakfast for her, but I'm like, okay. Oh, uh, I'll take that ending. So, Nania's gone, but she still got Shiki. That's pretty cute. I like that. That was a pretty good rail. Right? I just want to say, I just want to see if she, um, if Shiki say nice boots. Nah, that's it. So, yeah. See how moment got stolen by noel but i don't think it's too bad because cl does have she does have her own row i don't mind if this moment gets stolen as long as they don't treat noel like a i know she's a joke character basically but i mean i don't know man I guess she does have a route technically too. It's called Type Lumina Boss Rush 2. I don't know, I'm conflicted. And then Shiki passed out on the street. And then he got dragged to his room. I don't know who dragged him to his room. Probably either maybe Hisui since she knows Shiki's out. Or maybe it's the maybe um Kohaku. Who knows? But yeah, so mm, it looks a lot different, right? Than original, but honestly, I think 85%, 80% is still the same from the original, remake to original, All right? Shiki still had his dreams. He talked with Akia. The only difference is Mario interrupted, but that's like an added scene. There's no difference, right? That's an extra in the remake. And then Shiki's like chilling. And then here's a little bit more difference too, right? It's the choices when Ark visited him in school. No CL Senpai anymore. CL Senpai is gone. So, and then another action. Okay, maybe not 80%. I'll say 60%. Because there's a lot of add, added extra scenes. And there's a difference in when Ark visits Shiki because CL Senpai is not involved anymore, right? And then after this added hospital scene, Shiki goes home. Right? Talk to Ark. Ark explained about psychics and um, they added, added uh extra fight scene. And then instead of C uh, CL Senpai, is Noel. Okay. Scratch that 60. Make it 40%. It's, it's pretty dang different, actually. This is a pretty different. They, they change a lot. Was it better? Overall, yes. This scene it makes me hesitant to say yes. I'm not gonna lie because man it's conflicting i do like noel but they treat her like a joke character and 
you know what she turned into, right? In CRL. Dang. But they redeem her in Boss Rush 2 and Type Lumina when she got with Nania. And then she woke up and Shika was making her breakfast. So that's why I'm like mixed feelings, right? Like she's like, she turned to, uh, no spoilers for the CRL, right? But dang, bro. But then they redeem her in Type Lumina with the Boss Rush 2 route. So it's conflicting. Do I like Noelle? I guess overall, yes. But dang, she took CL route. I mean, like CL scene. That's messed up. <laughs> All right. So yeah, that's the difference between remake and the original on Eyes of Death Perception Two okay. chapter. Next chapter, Death. This is where it gets to like the climax of Tsukihime. Right, we're near the ending. So the next chapter is called Death. Let's go ahead and run the original. Let's play a new video. Um, this one. Shiki had a dream about his past again. He sees a way, ate breakfast. He's always worried about Shiki. Shiki looking very, 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 see how powerless. He's, he's very weak right now. Shiki looks like he's dying. He's always extremely worried. And then Shiki, you know, he has some free time. He wandered around the mansion. He goes back to his childhood forest. He had the flashback of, what, seven years ago or something like that. And then he passed out. He passed out for an entire day. Akia super pissed at Hisue. She was going to hit her. But I think Shiki stopped her. Akia super worried about Shiki. Akia asked Shiki, promise me you'll stay in bed. Promise me, please. And then if you disobey Akia and go with Ark, you'll die. Um, but if you do as Akia says, you continue the story. So that's the end of uh, chapter death, right? Very short chapter because Shiki passed out and stuff. Um, let's see it compared to, I guess I show this, blah, 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 boom. See, death. It's still called death. See, Shiki had the flashback from, um, you know, his childhood. He thinks about yesterday occurrence, right? Ark was getting hungry. Who was Roa or the shadowy figure that attacked him? And then Noel Sensei is a nun. It was like, okay, it's time to get to bed, but he can't get back up. He's just extremely worried. Newly added scene, this way gets a little bit different from the original. Dr. Eric and Kohaku checked uh, Shiki, right? All right, it's in the afternoon. Shiki thinks he's feeling better, so he went to go explore the mansion, right? Oh, if you, this is newly added too, right here. Investigate, I think these two are newly added as well. I don't think so, actually. I think Investigate Makihisa Study is newly added. You're not supposed to do that until far side of the moon. But, but for some reason, Nasu added it. I'm not too sure why. I guess he wanted to give a little bit of a teaser or it might be significant in the CL route. We'll see. And then Shiki had a flashback about his childhood. And then that's where he passed out for the entire day. Akia is super pissed, right? The only thing she cares about in this entire world is Shiki. Right? If anything happens to Shiki, she'll get super pissed. She only cares about Shiki. So, I don't want to spoil the Akia route. Dang, I was about to. Hold my tongue. <sighs> Hold my tongue. Alright, alright. You guys gotta wait to the far side of the moon. You guys gotta know why Akia is... In my opinion, I think Akia is the best girl in Tsukihime. Not my personal favorite, but I think I could agree. Akia might be the best girl in Tsukihime, right? Right? In terms of like how much feeling she has for Shiki, it's like no competition. But in the amount, everything she does is for Shiki. The only reason Shiki could walk is because of her. The only reason Shiki could breathe is because of her. You think I'm over exaggerating? Wait till the Akia route, bro. I'm not over exaggerating. That's everything that's happening is because of her. The only reason Shiki got to go to school is because of her. 
Hey, without Akia, Shiki is nothing. Nothing. Nothing without Akia. That's why I can agree Akia is the best girl in Tsukihime, but not my personal favorite. My personal favorite is Hisue. I like Hisue a lot. Um, let's see. So, Akia asked Shiki to promise her. Promise her that he won't go out and do anything stupid. That he'll just stay in bed for the rest of the night. Shiki agrees. If you choose the other choice, you get a bad ending. Oh, you want to watch this bad ending? Oh, man. This one's really good. <laughs> I want to watch this bad ending again. Oh. I think I might do a separate video. Talking about Kohaku. Maybe. I have to play CL route though, right? I wonder how I want to do this. I'm just thinking out loud. Do I want to make a separate video of Kohaku with just the arc route? Because there is a lot of hint in Kohaku. Uh, Kohaku is my second, close second favorite character. Maybe I like her more than Hisue. But the only reason I don't place her higher than Hisue is because I can't tell if I like Kohaku because of pity or because of her character. Or maybe both. I think I might make a separate video on Kohaku. We'll see. It's a lot of work. But yeah, if you choose to go with arc and put your body to the limit, you get the super. I think this one the best bad ending in the entire game of uh, Tsukihime. Uh, because you can only enjoy this bad ending if only you played the original Tsukihime. Because you'll understand. Oh man, that's so good. I think I might do a separate video on that. I have to. It's going to be a lot of work. I have to remember to do it too. Okay, so that's the end of that chapter. Chapter death, right? Basically, I would say 70% the same, right? It's a little bit different. Shiki has like a, he's gathering his thoughts, does a little recap in his head. Dr. Eric and Kohaku visit Shiki to check his body. Shiki visit more places in the mansion. And Shiki visit Makihisa study, which he wasn't supposed to in arc route. He's supposed to do that in the far side of the moon, but it's very interesting that Nasu added that. And I think, I don't know, you get this bad ending in um, the original Tsukihime. I don't remember. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Overall, I say 70% the same. There's a little added scenes and differences. That's it. I don't see any differences actually. Just I, I want to say a little bit more added scenes. All right, so okay, that's the chapter. So death. we're here at the next chapter. Very close to the ending. <laughs> it's been a trip. So we're at the next chapter. OG, they call it Vermilion Crimson Moon 1. Remake, they call it Scarlet Moon and Crimson 1. You got to keep in mind, both of these chapters are English translated. Fan translated to be exact. So they probably mean this. It's probably the same thing. I got to read the Japanese letters, but I don't feel like double checking. But yeah, now obviously there's also the extra chapter Black Down Moon. Um, it's basically just a bad ending. I wonder, I'll check that one out. I'll check that one out next as an extra. Why not? But let's go on to Scarlet. Let's just focus for this one Scarlet Moon Crimson One or Vermilion Crimson Moon One. So let's start with the OG. All right. So first thing first, Shiki wake up and the first thing you see is Ark face. Ark was uh, basically, she got super pissed off that Shiki didn't show up. He broke their promise about meeting at the park at 10 p.m. So Ark was gonna go to his house and rip out his throat. But then she saw Shiki sleeping. And Shiki, when he was sleeping, he looks like he was on the verge of death. He was sleeping very peacefully that she just wanted to stare at him just to make sure if is he really dead or not? Right? So she just stared at him. She probably never blinked. <laughs> she probably stared at him just like that. And then Shiki's like, okay, to make up that I broke my promise, let's go on a date. Just you and me. He skipped school. So this is basically the dating chapter. So Arik and Shiki went to go on a date. They bought a movie. Arik liked the romance film, 
right? They went to McDonald's. Ark had a burger for the first time. <laughs> she went from trying to rip out his throat to, oh, yeah, this day's fun. <laughs> it's pretty funny. And then Shiki took a tour to uh, his school on Ark request. Ark just wanted to see, you know, what his school looks like. And then this is a very big, impactful scene. This is when, um, this is when Shiki and Ark made a promise to each other, right? Because Shiki, he noticed that he's developing feelings for her. And he knows in his heart, right? Ark's like too dense, right? She doesn't know right, how human interaction. She doesn't like doing things with no reasons, right? Every she does has a reason, right? So Shiki in his heart, he knows that after they kill Roa, their relationship is going to be over. So he he asked Ark to promise him that when everything is over, that they'll meet back here in this classroom at that you know at, in this sunset, and they'll make happy memories together, right? They continue making happy memories together for no reasons, right? And Ark's like, why do I want to do that? And she's like, please. And she's like, okay, Shiki. Sure thing, sure. Let's see, part 12. So continue, now it's nighttime. Let's see, are they gonna hunt vampires again? No. Shiki, I think Ark's explaining more about the church. I remember Ark getting hungry, right? She got hungry, not yet. Yeah, she was about to bite him. And then Shiki got scared, but then Ark backed off. She was like, uh-oh, uh, I really did get hungry. She did it as a joke, but now she's serious. She want to suck Shiki blood. So she went home. Oh, well, she didn't went home, but uh, she just ran away. Shiki chased after her. That's when Ark's like, this is hungry Ark, right? Wark? We don't want to call it Wark. Wark's like pissed off Ark. I mean, she is kind of pissed off when she's hungry. This is a hungry arc. She's hungry. She killed a lot of vampires. Shiki. So, I don't want to spoil too much, but because of how Shiki genetics are, when he see Ark being a monster like this, he just want to kill her. But because this is an Arogi, instead of killing her, he suck her titties. <laughs> and then he, his senses woke up. It's like, oh my god, I'm so sorry, I sucked your titties. <laughs> and it is so awkward. <laughs> it's so awkward, dude. Like, uh, it's okay, Shiki. It was my fault. I wanted you to suck my titties with my powers of Mystic Eyes. <laughs> my Mystic Eyes told you to suck my titties. And then she's like, oh, god dang it. And that was the end of that chapter. Oh my god. So, honestly, I like it when a visual novel is rated E for everyone. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like Force Irogi is kinda, it's so awkward. <laughs> it is really awkward, dude. It really is, man. Irogi can be good, but when they, you know, that, it's not Takuichi fault. I oh, know, I shouldn't say fault. Thank you, Lord Takuichi, for creating the threesome with Saber, Rin, and Shido. That was godlike. Thank you, Lord Takuichi. <laughs> Takuichi just wanted, he, I don't know. I heard uh, with Arogis, they can sell at a higher price. That's probably the real reason, right? So they can sell the visual novel at a higher price, right? That's probably the real reason. That and Takuichi probably wanted to draw some hentai. <laughs> okay, so yeah, same thing. This one, I feel like in a remake, they make Ark a little less of a psychopath. She looks a lot less. You saw in the original, right? Eyes wide open. She was like looking at Shiki intently. This one, she looks pretty cute in the remake. So I, I think in a the remake, they try to make Ark more cuter. And I, I like it, but I also don't like it. Because her true nature, Art's a psychopath. Don't, don't, don't gloss that over, right? Don't, what's that called, right? Dress it up, right? All the girls in Tsukihime, we all know it. They're psychopaths. This ain't Stain Night. 
right? You don't got your wholesome soon soon dead soon dead, right? Rin, right? Someone complained about me saying soon dear, so I gotta say soon dead, whatever it's called, right? You know, dang your classic Saber and Tosaka, right? Sakura is a psychopath, but we're not talking about Sakura. Tsukihime, there's no redeeming heroine. They're all psychopaths, except for Hisue. She's a saint. Until you do the Kohaku route. Then she turned into a Yandir. It's all Akia fall. Oh my god. Alright, all right, whatever. Uh, Ark's mad cute when she looked at Shiki sleeping for the entire night. And then Shiki was like, alright, I'll skip school for you. Let's go on a date. Blah, blah, blah. Shiki, I don't know why. Ark just, you know, she was like, I'm going to dress up for this occasion. So they give her, uh, like, Lynn dress. That's Lynn outfit, right? Isn't that basically Lynn outfit? Maybe it's a throwback. They watch a movie together. <laughs> oh, my God. You get choices. You get you get more choices. So you get, you get it's, it's different, right? But foundation-wise, it's the same, right? It's the dating chapter, right? The dating chapter and the promise chapter. So, you know, they go on a day, they eat at McDonald's, Ark went to see Shiki School to make the promise right here at the sunset. Night falls, Ark played a joke that went too far and she almost lost control. Now, she's hungry and leaped away. Now, here's where it gets very different from the remake to the original. Mario shows up. Mm, excuse me. So, Mario and Noel shows up. It saves uh, Shiki. And then Shiki wants to chase Ark. And they're all like, let him, let him chase Ark. And then Shiki went to find Ark. He searched everywhere. And then he found Ark. And then Ark is, you know. Shiki was going to give in to his temptation and kill her, but he didn't, so they just left. Man, this is so cool. I love the remake. Man, dude, you guys, if you guys didn't read the remake, you guys have to. I think it's better to read the remake after you read the original. You have to read the original first. This one's really cool. The reason why this scene's really cool. This is a bad ending. Shiki kills Ark. And then the dog shows up. He lost his will to fight. So he let the dogs kill him. That was sad, dude. Right? He he accepted his genetics, right? His genes to kill all uh monsters. And then once the monster has been killed, Shiki returns to his normal self. And when he returns to his normal self, he realized that he killed Ark and he lost all hope in life and just accepted the dogs killing him. It was sad. That was such a that's such a powerful scene. Good job, Nasu. Holy crap. And that's the end of that chapter. So the difference Shiki did not suck on her titties. <laughs> Did he? No, right. Let me check again. I gotta check one more time. I don't remember. I know this is a ready E for everyone game, but they had an H scene. They just uh, didn't show it and talk about it. But it's pretty obvious that, you know, it is an H scene. Let me check this one more time. Man, the remake's so good, dude. This is my favorite visual novel of all time. It has to be, right? There's nothing going to be better. People say Mohoyo is their favorite. But the reason why Tsukihime is my favorite is because of this stuff like this, right? I like the psychological horror aspect of it, right? Face Day Night, you could debate with the bad endings. But it's only if you have the bad endings. Right? Because Shiki is the only main character in the Type Moon series. I shouldn't say Type Moon series. At least in the Nasu visual novel series. That Shiki's actually a psychopath. Right? He's actually a natural born killer. 
Look at this. This this capital letter. The Nasu classic of psycho psychological um, writing. Capitalize everything and um, repeat the words. Man, Nasu's a genius. <laughs> That's why Tsukihime will always be my favorite. Out of all the type moon stuff. And honestly, probably my favorite visual novel of all time. And I, I highly praise the remake. Because I think they did a really good job remaking it. But I think you can only really appreciate the remake, like how I can, if you played the original. That's why I highly, highly, dang, this is so good. Highly recommend you read the original first before the remake. I don't think he's stuck on hard cities. He do suck on her titties. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait, is he choking? No, he put his arms on her neck. It's been a while since I read the remake, so I just want to remember if he actually sucked on her titties. Because I think he did in the remake. <laughs> Slide my hips. And Batman, right? What? Wait, what's that sensor? That's not sensor. That's not to psychological writing creativity. He liked to do stuff like that. Let go for neck. I'm just waiting for him to say I put my mouth on her nipples. Oh my god. Dude, Yoshiki! Oh, there you go. I sank my teeth into the woman breast. I guess that's the only thing we're looking for. Bro, I told you, bro. Shiki's a freaking animal. He's a psychopath. I don't enjoy... I mean... Alright, I'm not gonna lie. I do enjoy main characters like that. Because it's interesting to read, right? You don't want your bland, oh, everyday nice guy character. There's like a thousand gajillion visual novels, anime, stories of nice guys always winning, right? Sometimes I just want to see a psychopath. I want to know because you can't predict what they're going to do. They're unpredictable. Unpredictable. You wouldn't predict he'll suck on her titties. What the hell? I I would never. And then, bro, I, yo. That scene was pretty good. I don't gonna lie. Yo, it's not good morally, right? That's disgusting what he did. But dang, that's what you're supposed to feel. You're not supposed to root for that. If you root for that, you're not a sane person, right? You're supposed to feel disgusted. You watch psychological horror to feel the disgust. You watch horror to feel scare. You watch comedy to feel laughter. You watch romance to feel the love. You want to feel the disgust. And what they did, they did it right. Nasu, dang. Yo, that's pretty good. That's, Nasu's, Nasu's a G. They even got the nipple sucking scene. They just didn't draw it. He kept it. What a god. And he added extras. So I want to say 60% is the same, kind of. Right, and 40% a little bit different because of Mario scenes, 
and Shiki. Well, it's more added scenes, honestly. This bad ending right here is really good. I really like this bad ending. I would say 70% actually, more 70 or 80%. It's really just added scenes, not too much difference. But dang, that was good. Good job on the remake. All right, all right. So that's the difference between Scarlet Moon of Crimson and Vermilion Moon of Crimson. Okay. One. What up? What up, guys? This is gonna be the extra chapter, Black Dot Moon. Um, let's see. They call it. They call it something different. They call it. I have. I didn't record it. So. We're just gonna quickly go through it right here. I still have the original Tsukihime game. They call it, I think, E something. Resume game. I saved. I made a saved. Where? DNM? Oh. Shikisama. I guess we can quickly go through it with uh, control. I don't really remember too much, so I'm just gonna. Uh oh, it's gonna reminisce this a little bit. Don't skip. How many years has it been since I played this? Like two years. 2021. Dang, yeah, it's been two years. this ending now oh my god this ending is only recommended if you beat Kohakurao you want to read this real quick all right so basically you push yourself so hard right you didn't rest like Akia recommended so you push yourself to the limit that you passed out in school so you in the nurse's office all the way till nighttime. So, you know, the school called Shiki Guardian, which is Akia. Akia is Shiki Guardian. Akia sent Kohaku to go pick up Shiki. Kohaku waited till it's nighttime for some reason. All right. And then it was like, all right, let's go home. There's a car waiting for us. So Kohaku is taking Shiki back in a car. But for some reason, Kohaku is going up the second floor. You want to hear the, the songs? She's already gone. Stare at the moon. Oshiete, Seo Sensei. Yes. Don't skip. <laughs> I miss Seo Sensei. Such a woman. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, 
Oh, DNM stands for Dizzy Not Healthy Moon. That's the same initials as Dark Knight Moon. Oh, wow, clever. All right, I just need a quick recap. That's it, really. Dang, what do you think is worse? Hey, and by worse, I mean like, you know, more of a bad ending. Dang, Kohaku. Why? <laughs> and then you get this one, Black Down Moon. So this is the difference between the two extra chapters, right? So Dizzy, Not Healthy Moon. Or, oh, Black Down Moon. B-O-M. Uh, Dark Out Moon. Dark Night Moon. Dysfunctional. Now let's quickly go through this. Same thing, right? Shiki wakes up, put the glasses on. Yeah. Put the glasses on. I love Hisuei. This one's... This is two different endings, to be honest. I still remember the Tsukihime remake ending. So, DNM, Shiki died because Kohaku led him to the second floor where Rolo is located and Rolo killed him, right? At his death point, he stabbed Shiki at the heart. This one's called BOM, Blacked Out Moon. So Shiki, same thing, right? He went to school. He's exhausted. He passed out in school. Business as usual. Same thing, Kohaku got the luxury car, but this time he actually go inside the car, right? So Shiki actually go inside the car. Hold on, let's load up the next scene. There we go. It's nighttime at the Tono Mansion. Dude, where's Akia? <laughs> oh, yeah, she's busy. Where's Hisue? Oh. I wasn't talking. I wasn't supposed to say that until the next video. I mean, it, it is Hisue. The dark tree is part of the reveal of the old mansion. Man, screw it. I already spoiled it a little bit. That's not he's away. That's not he's away. That's not he's away. Oh my god. Look. She never. You never look her in the eyes. That's a fake. I heard the news. A servant. Notice that he didn't call her he's away. But she has he's away voice. Notice that we never look her in the face. Oh my God. This is one of the most twisted ending, dude. You gotta read the original to fully get it. I'll probably explain this too in the next video. Because I wanna focus more on this. Dude. 
Just like, just like DNM, right? One of the maids. Man, screw it. I already told you. I fucked up. Kohaku leads Shiki to the second floor. And what's at the second floor? I think this one's more twisted than the original ending. Because in the original chapter 10 extra ending, right, he just got stabbed. Shiki? I think Kohaku led him to a room. Like a jail cell. She's going to keep Shiki locked up in the room forever. Yeah, a place with no way in or out. That was sick, dude. I like this ending way more. I think Remake did it better. Right? Two, foundation-wise. They both have similar foundation. Shiki pushed himself to the limit. He didn't listen to Akia. He passed out in school. This where it gets different. Shiki, in a remake, Shiki actually goes home. This where it gets similar again. Kohaku... Right? Lead Shiki upstairs to the second floor. And then here's the difference again. It's a slight difference. Well, no, this is a big difference. Original. Kohaku leads Shiki upstairs to the second floor of the school. Ro found Shiki and kills him. Remake. Kohaku leads Shiki to the second floor. Locks him in a room with no escape. Where he's going to rot forever. The thing is, Kohaku, she likes Shiki. <laughs> That's the thing, but she's very crafty. That's why you have to watch out for this character. I might do a video on her. Keep thinking about it. We'll see. We will see. So that's it. It's, it's, it's yeah. Foundation wise, the extra chapters are the same, right? They're both bad endings. Shiki passed out and lead to his doom. But the ending conclusion is different, right? You either get stabbed in original or you get locked in a room and rot in the remake. I think that's more crueler, to be honest. The remake's more crueler. Rotting away, no sunlight, nothing, right? You're just gonna rot on the floor until the whole thing's over. If she decides to let you out, which I, I don't know, I doubt. Because you, you, um, you broke a lot of promises. I'm just going to say that. Dang, I want to do an entire video dedicated to Kohaku. But I feel like that's going to be too hard. And I want to wait for the remake. Mm, let's see. Every time going through this, it makes me remember. Because Nasi really added a lot of good flavors and hints on Kohaku's real personality. And it makes me remember, dang, this character is so well created. He did a great job creating a true, I wouldn't even call it Yandir. It's just a true psychopath. Dang, <laughs> that's it, right? Everyone's a psychopath in this game, but Kohaku is just the next level of psychopath, man. She's such a good character, really good character. I think she's a 10 out of 10 character, right? All right, all right. So that's the extra chapter. DNM, they call in the original, and Black Dot Moon okay. in the remake. So here we go to the next chapter of Vermilion Crimson Moon 2. So I think I did miss a couple of stuff in the previous chapter, right? I think these two scenes is when Mario talks about Arc Pass, right? I think that's when you talk about Hime. See how. That's when she talks about Ark always being alone. And that's what Shiki, you know, it puts Shiki. So let's not get too ahead of herself. Let's go ahead and watch the original um, right here. So here we go. The next chapter, Shiki goes to school. 
Art gets hungry again. And then this time she really is gonna bite Shiki, right? Red eyes and everything. CL stops Ark. And then CL tells Shiki about Ark past. And then asking Shiki, do you still wanna be with her and stuff? Stuff like that. Nah, she just really just explained Ark past. That's it. And then the H scene. Shiki's like, of course I wanna be with her. And then here comes the H scene. <laughs> All right, so in this one and the remake, I think they explain Art Pass a little bit early. I think that's the difference already. Let's see. So Art left Shiki. Shiki's going through school. He's going through like a. A midlife crisis, he's walking around trying to find the meaning of life, like, what should I do? And that's when Senpai shows up and gives Shiki a push. Senpai, CL Senpai, she didn't show up in like in most of the chapters. But she finally showed up and she told Shiki, you know, arc past, how she really felt, right? Like she never do things without reasons, why she's this way, all that stuff. He tells her about her past. And uh, Shiki's like that idiot, right? And then he he's gonna let's see a head back to the mission. Need to do. He's gonna eat. And then he waits for Ark for hours and hours because remember they promised to be at the park. And then they had an H scene. Yes, there's an H scene. Don't worry, they didn't show it. They just like skip it basically. It's pretty much, you know, I do. And then she leaves Cheeky. So it's like kind of the same as the original. Just a little difference. And CL Senpai give him the push. CL Senpai is more on the positive end, right? She was on the negative end in the original. Like, but then her role got taken by Mario. So she was able to seen as more of a positive character and supporting character in the remake. And I kind of like that a lot. So... Okay. There we go. That's so we're almost there to the finish line. Savage Knight. So let me pull this up. You see Savage Knight. And the remake, they call it Knight of Ill Omen. Right? It could be English fan translations, but you know. Let's see. So as you can see, basically it's the good ending, right? No, 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 not a good ending. Hmm, let me see how many chapters are left. Let's see. Okay, so, should I say it now? No, I'll wait till we get to the ending. So, Savage Knight, right? Oh, it's me. I'm like, uh. I'm trying to. I don't remember what I said here. But I'm telling people, she does not look like Saber. F you guys. He's the way, he's the, he's the, Saber look like he's the way. All right. <laughs> okay, so this is it. This is the final threshold, the climax, the very end. We're at the ending of Tsukihime, right? Not the conclusion, but we're at the ending, the final arc. So Shiki, like going through his daily life, and then he's thinking about some stuff. He stayed after school. Bro attacked him. CL Senpai saved him. That's it. Heart of the moon. Heart of the moon. That's it. Oh. Alright. Very short chapter. So, in the remake, he wakes up. Right? He thinks about, you know, he stayed later in school. Right? Because I think a teacher called him, right? I remember a teacher... So Shiki to stay after school and then when it's after school Roa shows up and try to kill Shiki and then CL Senpai came and saved Shiki and that's it they went to uh, CL Senpai basically carry Shiki back to the mansion pretty much the same right okay. pretty much the same now we're at the final chapter I thought Savage Knight was the you know but no it's the world of the moon or they call it in a remake, the moon surface. 
So that's the final chapter. All right. So the world of the moon, right? October 31st. So Shiki is at the Tono Mansion, right? Seo Senpai saved his life against the attack of Roa. Akia knows about capital letter Shiki, but she doesn't really know about Roa, right? She just thinks that capital letter Shiki is trying to kill Shiki. And then CL basically tells Shiki, right? She warns him, give him a lot of warning and stuff. She basically made Shiki confess that he loved Ark. Ark heard it, you know, outside. She was outside Shiki window because, you know, she's worried about Shiki. She loves Shiki. And then when she heard Shiki confession, she rushed to school. And then Shiki can't really move, right? He's still injured. So he asked CL Senpai to carry him to school. CL carry him to school. And now Shiki told CL, let me fight him. And then CL's like, if you're losing, then I'ma kill Roa. And he was like, okay, deal. So this is it. Ark versus Roa. Ark put out the her strongest move against Roa. Roa got obliterated. Only his feet remain, but because it's the night of the full moon, he quickly recovered. And then boom. He killed Ark. Ark was dying in Shiki arms. And because she was so low on power, right, Ro was able to overpower her. And now Shiki's pissed off, right? Ark just died in his arms. And he looked at Ro and was like, that's it, you're next. And they had an ep epic battle. Shiki sliced the entire school, then he sliced Roa. And then Roa came back to life. Right, because he didn't came back to life, but Shiki never like finished him off. So Roa was trying to suck Shiki blood and take over his body. Seo Senpai came in, the finishing blow. Seo Senpai MVP. She saved Shiki life. And that's it. That's the end of that chapter. Okay. So in the remake, it was a lot more epic. Right? So Shiki wakes up, right? Same, same scenario as the original. In the remake, Shiki wakes up at the Tono Mansion. Seo Senpai with the glasses on. Oh! <laughs> Basically made Shiki confess that he loved Ark. Ark heard Shiki says she loves him. So she rushed in to kill Roa. And then Shiki asked Seo, hey, take me to school. I can't move on my own. I'm really weak right now. And Seo's like, okay. And then the big difference right here so CL, she was gonna wait until Shiki looks like he's losing against Roa and then kill Roa. But now she's occupied with another vampire beast and she has to fight that beast. And then Ark died and Shiki arms. Shiki's pissed off. This is how he sliced the building. Man, that looks so cool. And then he almost killed Roa. And then Roa came back to life he was going to take over Shiki body. CL Senpai saved him. I can show it too, if you don't believe me. I'm just kidding, I just want to see it again. <laughs> it's pretty good. I like this. Dang, see, they really made CL more likable. I'm gonna be honest. I didn't like her too much in the original. Right? I thought she was a little bit annoying, I'm not gonna lie. Cause she's always like the, the nagging character, right? The straight man, I guess. She's always nagging. But in the remake, they made her more likable. See, then Roa, Shiki didn't finish him off, right? Roa was dying, so he tried to take over Shiki's body and suck his blood. CL Senpai saved him. Man, she's so cool. Oh, I love my senpai. I'm not gonna lie. Dang, the remake's making me like CL Senpai a lot. She's really good, dude. She's a really good character. I can't wait for the CL route. Oh, okay, so that's the difference between remake and original. Foundation-wise, again, foundation-wise, same thing. They, add, just, they just added an extra scene of CL fighting the spider, and they made everything look cooler. That's it. Foundation-wise, it's the same. Okay, <coughs> we're here. We're finally here. <coughs> Holy crap. <coughs> Ooh, my throat. I didn't expect to do a lot of talking, but it is what it is. So we're here. The ending difference between Tsukihime and the remake and the 
original. I'm gonna be honest with you. It's the same. Like, it's, it's actually the same. It's the same thing. But they just added, obviously, like in the remake, they added more details and it's better. That's all I'm gonna say. So this is it, right? Shiki wakes up, go to school. He wakes every day, you know, at the sunset because he remembers the promise with Ark. And then Ark's like, dang, you're so stubborn. I was just going to leave without saying goodbye, but I can't help it if you keep doing stuff like this. So they finally say their final goodbye, the touching stuff. And then Ark confessed to Shiki that she loves him and she had fun. And then Shiki was just stunned when she left and he was like, I had fun too. Goodbye, Ark. Right? So she wants Shiki to live happily. She's going to go back to sleep in her castle. And she, she wanted to thank Shiki for all the happy memories that he gave her. And then a little bit extra bit in the original, right? Ark stays and Shiki and Ark basically live happily ever after. I think that's more artificial in my opinion. I don't like the good ending. I like the true ending more. Which button did I press? Did I press play on accident? Oh crap. Well, I guess we can watch it again. I don't mind. Oh, I pressed play. I didn't mean to press play. But you know what? Happy mistakes. You want me to turn on the volume? Yeah, because we're going to skip it. Right? We're not going to read the whole thing. If you want to read the whole thing, it's up on my YouTube. So, same thing, right? Shiki wakes up. He sort of wakes up Shiki. Put on the glasses. Time to go to school. Shiki remembers the promise he made with Ark. Oh, it looks so much pretty in the remake. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. The switch is a little bit slow because they have to transition scenes a lot. There's a little bit of animations too. Uh, it's not even animation, just zooming in, zooming out. But yeah, Shiki's going to school. He's going to school. There you go. And then he remembered the promise he made with Ark. He's staying after school, waiting for her every day. I forgot how many months have passed. I think it was like two months maybe, or plus, two, two plus months. And then Ark couldn't stand Shiki being stubborn, so she showed up just to say one final goodbye. Cause she gotta go back to sleep, right? She's going back to sleep to fulfill her duty as true ancestor. And what's the duty of a true ancestor, you ask? She's also like something about Gaia. She's like the world protector or something. She has a really deep role in the Nasuverse. There you go. Can we look at Ark, please, in the remake? Pretty please. Pretty please. I love her. Dang. Oh, the smile. They're saying goodbye. Goodbye to each other. Right? They got they can't be with each other. She's a true ancestor. She keeps human. He's gonna die one day. And she's gonna be sad. She wants Shiki to be happy. Shiki happiness is her happiness. She can finally go to sleep with happy memories and a, a happy dream. When she sleeps, she don't usually dreams. But thanks to Shiki, I think she can now. Because she finally made good memories. Shiki's like, make me a vampire. I don't know how he said that. I feel like he did. Come on, Nintendo Switch. Yeah, I, if you play this game, I prefer the PS4 version. It's better. It runs better on PS4. Nintendo Switch. Dude, I played Emmy a cooking game on a Nintendo Switch. It crashed like multiple times. <laughs> it's a cooking game. It crashed when I opened up the ingredients. There's too many dang ingredients in Emmy a cooking. Oh my god. I need to get like a Switch Pro or something. It's called a Steam Deck, isn't it? <laughs> oh man, I wish Tsukihime came out on PC. That would be so tight. Because then you could be on the Steam Deck. 
Why is Nasu so stubborn? Dang, man. I'm so sad Mahoya is now on PC. Like, come on, man. Reading visuals on the TV? Bro, I'm just trying to lay back and read. You see, in the remake, they made it more cinematic. Obviously, I am skipping a lot. But you gotta remember too, I'm playing on the Switch. So the Switch is like, it's, 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 it's put it, I, bro, you know the Switch sucks, all right? Yeah. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. Switch sucks. It's one of the worst systems. Oh, that was his imagination. Wow, I got April Fools. The guy. I'm like, what, she stayed? Why she's in another dress? Nah, she's gone. All right. I want to stop the skipping. That's right. He want to spend more time with her, make her happy, all that stuff. He's trying to say his final goodbye. Damn, I can't imagine this. How are they going to animate it? They're going to make it short. They're going to make it at least like three minutes, right? Or maybe five. Play a song over it. That's probably what they're going to do. Yeah, Shiki's saying I can't live without her. But he's going to try to live without her because that's what Ark wants. She wants Shiki to be happy. And then this is like the most impactful line in the entire game. Because he said this to another certain person that I'm not going to spoil. But when you beat all the routes, he gets to finally say goodbye to the most special person in his life. So there's only two characters he ever said goodbye to, really. One of them is Ark, and the other person, oh, goodbye and thank you, right? He only said that to two characters. One of them is Ark, and the other person is the most special person in his life. No matter what girl you choose, there's always one special um, person in his life. I try to keep it as vague as possible. I'm like, uh, how do I phrase this about swimming? The blue night sky, the white shining moon, Tsukehime, moon princess. There's all that remains, that and the beautiful memory. I sigh. I take a long deep breath as I as still praying. She may no longer be here, but I need to get the words I've got to say off my chest. Goodbye. I had a lot of fun too. This will be my final memory of her. Eventually the moon would dim and the night would come to an end. The moon hangs alone in the night sky, looking like a piece of glass. A memory of a distant moon, so fragile it could shatter at the lightest touch. For as long as I can, I continue to gaze up at the moon until the night gives away to the dawn. Tsukehime. Blue glass with the full moon, or whatever they call it. We're finally done, dude. We're finally done. All right. Dang, that was beautiful. Ah, man, going through this game again. It really makes me remember. This is the best visual novel ever created. Right? Is this the best visual novel ever created? Yeah, I think so. It's my favorite for sure. But I think it's also one of the best visual novel ever created. Like, dude, man, this is insane. That shit value is so high. All right, get me out of here, bro. All right, all right. Now, it's time for the conclusion. The end. Margaret Brunstad, route ending. Okay, so conclusion time. Is it the original? Is the original Tsukihime arc route? that different vastly different from Tsukihime remake arc route in my opinion I don't think it's that different right I think foundation wise majority is the same it's pretty much the same right there are a few no not a few there is a lot of added scenes original scenes but they still kept a lot 
of the original scenes as well. There are a little bit of changes and tweaks, like they removed CL Senpai from the arc route, majority of the arc route. She only showed up in like the major arc route. Like when Shiki was lost, so CL Senpai had to step in and, t and push Shiki to go save Ark, right? This scene right here. They replaced CL Senpai with Noel. Why did he do that? I don't know. <laughs> that I, I really don't know why they did that. <laughs> I don't know. I guess they want to introduce more characters. Like Noel Mario. I feel like Mario Mario also replaces CL. Okay. Right? Because Mario's the one that told Shiki about um Arc Pass, about Hime. Right? There's a one very special added original scene that I really like. Which is um, doing like the first two chapters, I believe. Where was it? Chapter one? Yeah, right here. I don't know what this banjo's significance is, but I'm thinking it's going to be very significant in the Kohaku route. They introduced a lot of uh, original characters like Dr. Eric, Noel Senpai, Miyu, uh, Psyche. Mario and others. They replaced Nero with Vlov. That's pretty different, but I think foundation wise it's the same. It's just more anime and destructive and explosives. More eye candy. Ark has a uh, 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 Shiga Switch dress. They added some cool powers about her. I think they made Ark a lot more cuter in the remake. She's less of a psychopath in the remake. She's more of a, a psychopath in the original. A little more crazy, right? But in the remake, they tone her down a lot and they made her cuter. And I guess that's pretty good. They hinted a lot on um, he's, he's Kohaku stuff. They hinted a lot on Akia stuff, routes. They hinted Sasuke background. That's also newly added, but that's in the original. It's just that it wasn't supposed to be an art route. So they added more Sasuke background information, Akia background information. They hinted a little bit about Kohaku because Saiki mentioned that when he mentioned Kohaku name, or was it Hisue name? He he gave off a a very interesting inner uh, reaction, so they hinted on that, which is nice. They gave a little bit more background on Capital Letter Shiki. They explains uh, eh, I think they explain vampires evenly. What else was different besides all the added fight scenes? Yeah, majority wise, it's pretty much the same. Really. I think Art Cross is the same. Which is pretty cool. I like that. I, I don't think it should be too different. Ciel Rao, I heard in the remake, Ciel Rao is very, very different. And I'm glad it's different because how visual novels used to work back then, and it still kind of works like that now, depending on what you're reading. Majority of the visual novels. They share a lot. It's like 70% common route. And then the last 30% is unique character route. So 70% of the story is going to be the same. And then when you get to, you know, make a little decisions, it'll be a little bit different. And that's when it branch off. Boom. To a whole new character route, right? A whole new story. So usually the character routes are short. Probably like uh, two to four or five hours. Right, two to no, that's pretty long. Two to two to four to three hours, I believe. Right, and then common stories like supposed to be making up like seven percent of the story. What Tsukihime and Remake's doing is they're trying to do. I believe they're trying to make two completely different stories. Right, pretty similar to how Stay Night did it with Fate Route, Unlimited Blade Works, and then Heaven Fills. Heaven Fills the shortest one. But I think that's how Nasu's gonna do Tsukihime. Right. Like, 
I believe like at least the first two chapters is probably going to be the same. And then after the first two chapters, it's just going to be drastically different. Like it's just a whole new story, whole new timeline. It's the Nasu verse. It's going to be about like interacting with CF Senpai, just give a whole new story, which I like. I like that a lot. Now it makes me think, you know, because he rewrote Sail Route completely, but then Nasu also kept a lot of the original content in Arc Route. I wonder how he's going to do it in the far side of the movie, right? Is Nasu going to, obviously Sasuke Route is going to be completely new, right? But Akia Route, Hisue, I think Akia and Hisue is very different from each other. <laughs> they didn't feel similar. I, I honestly think the only one that was very similar is just CL and uh, Arc. They overlap with each other a lot in the original. So, Nasu just made it different in the remake. So, yeah. In conclusion, again, let me recap. Is the arc route in the original similar or the same as the arc route in the remake? My answer, yes. It is pretty much the same. Just a whole lot of new added scenes. That's it. There's a whole lot of new added scenes and a whole lot of new characters. Did it have impact in the foundation and change the story completely? No. They just made it cooler. That's it. They didn't really change the story that much from the original arc route. They took out a major character, CL, but they replaced her with Noelle and Mario. So it still kind of evens out as being the same. It's still the same foundation. It's pretty similar. So I hope that answered your question. I know it was really long. Thanks for sticking through with me. I want to create more Tsukihime videos in the future. I had a couple ideas. I don't know if I want to do it. You, you heard me earlier, right? I want to I wanna talk more about Kohaku. That's what I really want to do. But I had to go find all the Kohaku scenes. And you, you see, I'm still missing a couple of scenes in the visual novel. And then CL route hasn't been English translated. I wanted to wait until CL route is over, maybe. And then maybe I'll make a Kohaku video. Because I think, honestly, out of all the Type Moon universe, I think Kohaku is probably the most interesting character to me. Right? If you think about if you beat the game, the original, it's really interesting. So hopefully I can make more Tsukihime videos. As long as I get more ideas. And then, you know, you can put it in the comment section. What you want me to talk about? I'll try my best to talk about them. And if I miss anything about the differences of art routes from the original and the remake, please go ahead and put it in the comment section below as well. I would love to hear your facts and opinions. Because come on, man. Dude, Tsukihime is gone. Like, oh, I just want to talk about Tsukihime 24 7. Yeah, that'd be nice. All right. So, you know, please like, subscribe. That really helps the channel. And I'm going to head out. Alright, laters, bye!